Introducing Development Research in Practice, the Dime Analytics Data Handbook. An empirical revolution has changed the face of development economics in recent decades. As you can see here, by 2015, more than 95% of development economics papers published in top journals were empirical. As a part of this shift, researchers are increasingly working with complex original data. At the same time, empirical research projects are expanding in both scope and scale. More people are working in, on the same data over longer time frame, frames and greater geographic spaces. In this context, documenting how data are created, handled, and analyzed is a critical component of research quality. However, despite the growing importance of managing data work, little practical guidance is available on how to do this effectively and efficiently. There are few resources on the conventions, standards, and best practices that are fast becoming a necessity for high quality empirical research. The Development Research and Practice Handbook aims to fill that gap. The handbook covers the full data workflow for an empirical research project, sharing the lessons, tools, and processes developed within the World Bank's Development Impact Evaluation Department. The authors of this book are all part of DIME Analytics, a centralized team that takes advantage of the scope and scale of DIME research to develop technical solutions and best practice workflows through an iterative process. We bring tools and concepts from data science and computer science into development research. The handbook compiles all the lessons and tools developed by analytics into a single narrative of best practices. It provides a step-by-step -step guide to high quality reproducible data work. As with all resources developed by DIME Analytics, we share this with the, global, with the global development research community as an open source and open access public good. We designed the handbook to be a highly practical resource so that readers can immediately begin to collaborate more effectively on large long-term empirical research projects using the methods and tools discussed. A central message is that standardization and simplification of data tasks enable effective collaboration and improve research quality by saving each team from reinventing the wheel. The handbook provides a narrative outline of the data workflow at each stage of an empirical research project from design to publication as visualized in the diagram here. The handbook's seven chapters follow that data workflow. Chapter one outlines a set of ethics and practices to ensure that research is transparent, reproducible, and credible. Chapter two focuses on structuring data work for effective collaboration while ensuring the privacy and security of research participants. Chapter three turns to the measurement framework, how to translate research design to a data work plan and how to reproducibly and credibly implement sampling and treatment assignment. Chapter four covers data acquisition. It discusses data licensing for secondary data, provides a deep dive on collecting high quality primary electronic survey data, and offers best practices for data security at all stages. Chapter five covers data processing, from constructing tidy data sets to checking data quality, de-identifying personal data, and cleaning data in preparation for analysis. Chapter six dives into that analysis, introducing core principles for writing analytical code and creating, exporting, and storing research outputs reproducibly. Chapter seven turns to the publication of research outputs and provides guidelines for preparing functional and informative reproducibility packages. Each chapter starts with a box summarizing the most important points in the chapter and key takeaways for different types of readers, including task team leaders, principal investigators, and research assistants. This is designed to allow different types of readers to easily identify the chapters and sections that are most relevant to them. The summary boxes also offer a list of key tools and resources for implementing the practices recommended in that chapter. Readers will find frequent references to the DIME Wiki throughout the handbook. The DIME Wiki and the handbook are meant to be complementary resources. The book provides the narrative structure and workflow. The Wiki offers specific implementation details detailed code examples, and a more exhaustive set of references for each topic. DIME launched the Wiki in 2018, and over the past three years, we've seen rapid expansion in usage with a substantial portion of the user base in Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia.
The interest in the wiki was our first hint at the unmet demand for resources on research and data quality and formed part of the motivation for developing this handbook. To illustrate the empirical research tasks described in the handbook, we use a case study of a dime impact evaluation in Rio de Janeiro, the demand for safe spaces study. Each chapter contains boxes with examples of how the practices and workflows described in that chapter were applied in this real life case. All the examples of code and diagrams referenced in the case study boxes can be accessed directly through the handbook's GitHub repository, and all of the original materials are included in the Demand for Safe Spaces reproducibility package. How can you get a copy of the handbook? A PDF is available for free download from the World Bank's Open Knowledge Repository, or you can purchase a hard copy from Amazon. Both links are included here. I want to close by noting that this book is a living product, publicly written and maintained on GitHub, part of Dime and Dime Analytics commitment to transparency. You can access all of the book's content, including code snippets through the GitHub repository. We welcome comments and suggestions from readers via either the GitHub repo or email. Let me recognize my three co-authors, Christopher Biarcafor, Luisa Cardoso de Andrade, and Benjamin Daniels. We also acknowledge the collaboration and financial contribution for this handbook from the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office of the Government of the United Kingdom. Thank you all for your time and interest in the handbook.